Hey YouTube, it's me Morgan, and this video is on my new hair, which is this hair in my head, and it is very big and full hair. And this hair is from Sheena's Hair Emporium, and it's their, I think it's part of the new um, line she came out with, or it's the new texture. Um, it's not, I don't think it's like brand, brand new, but it's fairly new, and it is the Virgin Indian Kinky Curly. So this is what's in my head right now. And I only had kinky curly hair one time ever before and that was a princess hair shop and with her company I had it like in the shorter length so I wanted to try it in a little bit longer length so I did um, make a unit with two 22s and two 20 no two 24s and two 22s because the shrinkage on this hair is like big it does shrink um, and when you measure, when she measures the hair, she measures, measures it when it's pulled straight. So yeah. So, um, she also, I did get two 26s as well. And I'm going to show you that in a second. But, um, first I want to show you how it came packaged. So, it came packaged, um, in a regular envelope through the mail. And then, um, she had want the hair in here and then she put that in this one and she also had a spray bottle attached to it which was really nice but I guess it fell off in my house and I don't know where it is anymore but that was really nice how she had the spray bottle and now I'm going to show you how it came packaged so it comes packaged like this and it has Sheena's Hair Emporium it has the website and what I really like about this is that it has the style up top. So she bubbled in Virgin Indian Kiki Curly. And it also has the links. So this is a 26. So I don't think, I haven't taken this one out the package yet. So I'm going to take this 26 inch out the package so you can see what it looks like. So this is how it looks when you get it. This is the first time this has been out the package. So... This is what it looks like. It has a very uniform pattern to it. And the color is like a 1B color, but at the ends it's lighter. So that's what it looks like. And it has the information on it. And also how to take care of the hair and the return policy on the hair as well. And I'm gonna show you the other 26 inch bundle that I did take out and I did, um, wash this one so this is what it looks like after you wash it um, when I got this hair I did shampoo and condition it I didn't just co-wash it so here's what it looks like right out the package and this is what it looks like when you wash it so you guys can definitely see the difference so after you wash it the hair does get longer as opposed to when it was in the package. Okay, so that's what it looks like out the package and after you wash it. So this right here is about three and a half or three and three fourths bundles I have in my head. I did do the flip over method like always and I did put wig combs in it so I could take this off. Um, I colored the hair jet black like I always do now. And um, this hair is very, um, it's like high maintenance, I would say, because the curls are just so tight and you have to take care of it. You can't just like throw it somewhere or lay all on it. Um, you have to detangle the hair and whatnot. So I recommend if you do get kinky curly hair, since it is more prone to like getting tangles because of the curls and the texture of it then I recommend you make it into a wig that you can take on and off at night and not sleep on it. Because if you do sleep on it, it might get a little tangled up. Um, but that's just like with a lot of curly hairs. So um, what I use after I wash the hair, I did put this on and this is like my go-to product for everything. I put it on my real hair. I put it on my weave, everything. So this is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil 7-in-1. Um, leave-in treatment 
and I love this stuff it does a lot of stuff I talked about this in another video but it's just a really great product so I spray this on the hair after I wash it when it's like soaking wet and then um, I use my dimming brush and brush through it and then I did put this on because I didn't know if this hair would get like really frizzy or not so I did put the frizz defined curl cream which I'm not going to put on next time because it made like my curls a little crunchy and I don't like them crunchy and hard so I did have to go back and like spray my hair and everything so um, this is what the hair looks like when the curls are still defined a tad bit I really haven't picked it out um, like I'm combing it out now but this hair is really gorgeous and it's really really big like bam hair like it's just out there it's probably because of the links I got also but yeah it's just a very cute like natural hair type thing but I am picking the curls out and I do kind of like the way it looks like this better it's just so big so yeah so um when I after I made my unit I did go through it and comb it through with a wide tooth comb just to get all the, like the shedding and the kinks out because it is kinky curly so after you make the unit there's going to be some tangles in it because you have to take apart the wefts uh, you have to like unfold all this and it does get a little tangled so i did um when it was dry i did comb through with a wide tooth comb and i did get some shedding but that's expected shedding this hair is going to shed it's kinky curly hair and it's just going to shed so um the shedding wasn't anything um crazy that i wasn't used to it's just regular kinky curly hair shedding and i think anybody who has kinky curly hair who or whoever had it before would know that it will shed so you can seal your west if you would like but i didn't seal mine i kind of like it when it's like combed out and bigger now i'm kind of feeling this so yeah um Entangling, yeah, the curls do interlock, so that's not anything new to me. Every time I get curly hair, it tangles up a little bit because the curls interlock together. So I think that's about it for now. I'm going to come back with an update. And yeah, so, oh yeah, and also when I blended my hair, I did use my, I have an 11 millimeter or 13 millimeter. It's a really tiny, small curling wand. And what I did, I just twisted the leave out a little bit of leave out with the hair like I twisted it tightly and then curled it while it was in the twist I didn't pick it out so I just left it in there and it came out like that so I think that's like the best way to blend the hair or you can use those little rods um, when I throughout the week I don't put heat on my leave out the only time I really put heat on my leave out is when I have to go somewhere really quick but otherwise I take this product right here and put it right on my edges and then I take the hair and um, use the little perm rods the tiny ones and twist that and then put a scarf on it to lay all of it down so that's what I do when I have time but when I don't have time like today I did use the curly wand so that's about it all the information to Sheena's hair emporium below um, I have worked with her before in the past she's great she is awesome regular virgin indian curly hair that's amazing that i did ombre so if you want to go see that you can go back and to my videos and search and just type in she has hair emporium and it will come up so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments please let me know and thanks for watching bye